these killings aren't going to stop. The police killings aren't going to stop. The microaggressions aren't going to stop. You know, from one end of the spectrum to the other. Uh, these pervasive expressions of racial harm, racism, will not stop until we engage into some in deep healing. How do we interrupt racial trauma, historical trauma? How do we begin to heal historical wounds? How do we heal the wounds of structural racism, not just something that may happen mm -hmm. between two individuals? We know that unless we begin to interrupt, or I believe that unless we begin to interrupt <laughs> this trauma that goes all the way back to the birth of our nation, that is, you could say, our original sin, our original yeah. harm. We were born into this, and it was blacks and whites and Native Americans yeah. that are all born into this. And yes, we got rid of slavery you know, after an abolitionist struggle. But what happened is that same racial trauma and, and, and violence uh, morphed into Jim Crow, morphed into convict leasing, morphed into um, what you know today, mass incarceration uh, and deadly police violence. So I'm convinced that until we really begin to heal this original trauma, that we can get rid of one form, one expression of racism, but it's going to pop up. It's going to perpetually reenact itself.